Hello, my marvellous sausages. I've been thinking I want to do some nice, straightforward, quick build guides that you're going to find incredibly useful for your various guardians. So today, we're going to be taking a look at a warlock build I've called... <clears throat> Explosive, Explosive perfection. perfection. And the name is only a little bit wanky, which is always a plus. Now, this marvellous build is all bottom tree dawn blade on the Warlock subclass. Now, with Season of the Lost, this has just become an amazing option. I never really used it before. I always, always kind of went with the uh, top tree, you know. Now, listen to this. This is from the bungee notes of the subclass, Igniting Touch. They've reworked this ability. Now, solar abilities and kills on burning targets now cause targets to explode and burn other nearby enemies. So we've got a loop going on here. Either punch them or bung a grenade. They get burned. When they explode, there's a range that they explode and then they'll burn other targets. And then those guys will explode and pass the burn on. And if you've got loads of enemies around you, it's just going to chain react all the way around. It's unbelievable fun. Now, the next thing you want to have a look at are exotics. Now, the Dawn Chorus, which is a helmet, which kind of looks like a fly who's been, been fired into an antique shop through a of Brasso. Well, if you look at its exotic perk called Rites of Ember, it says your daybreak projectiles cause targets to burn on contact and deal more damage to them. All of your burn effects last longer and you gain a small amount of melee energy each time one of your burns damages a target. So you're going to be getting a melee back. It's going to make the burn last longer. But what's really good is that this Dawn Chorus helmet, here comes another wanky word, synergizes with the uh, igniting touch because it includes increases the detonation radius because once they're on fire and they explode it detonates at seven meters but with the dawn chorus on it detonates up to nine meters which is going to spread the love even more but there's a couple of other things we can do to really knock this one out of the flaming park so mods wise i'm using melee well maker which basically gives me elemental wells when i punch something i'm increasing my stats for my grenades because i want to do mainly grenade kills uh, so we get them as back as quickly as possible Wrath of Rasputin, I want to create war mine cells with solar splash damage, so that's why I've got that one in there. On here, I've got Explosive Well Maker, that's chain reaction explosions, or multiple explosions will create solar elemental wells for me. And then I put Global Reach on the war mine cells so that any effects from the war mine cells will have a greater radius. And the effect that I'm spreading around is, of course, burning cells that you can see there. That basically adds burn to any get caught in the radius of the war mine cell explosion. And then, of course, they'll detonate and spread it because of the igniting touch and uh, well this is bloody marvellous. Weapons wise I'm just going for complementary weapons really so I've gone for the 7th Seraph Carbine that creates war mine cells. This is fantastic the Polaris Lance. The perfect fifth. The fifth precision shot will give a big bang but if you've also got the catalyst in any precision hit will give dragonfly which is excellent and then we've also got solar scar which is the sword from trials of osiris and was really easy to earn believe me i just lost a few matches and there it was in an engram but it's got chain reaction on it which kind of adds to the explodey loveliness of this entire build let's go and have a look let's just go in so you can see how many there are look there's loads of them well i just watch this with one punch Gone. The whole lot gone. And uh, I've also got me a uh, me, uh, well maker there. Let's try a grenade. Boom, 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 boom. And then we got war mine cells dropping out. It's still going on another war mine cell and elemental well. That is marvellous. This will give you a good idea of uh, the chain reaction larks. Let's use a grenade first. <laughs> Look at all the stuff it's dropped. And the grenade's still burning from before. But we just do a punch this time. Oh, my goodness me, it's marvellous. Let's get a bit of a perfect fifth going as well. Oh, my God, look, it just clears them so quickly. Oh, oh lovely, there we go, that's right. Let's see how fast we can get around this baby. Uh, let's pick this up, uh, let's shoot you. Yes, like that. And then let's give you that. Because you can sod off and die as well. Uh, you can, uh, they've all died up there. <laughs> we got war mine cells dropping willy-nilly everywhere. Now, this is good for these guys. As you know, they always duplicate. Ooh, look, there we are. Brilliant. It's it's great fun. Even though this season, I know that the war mine cells are uh, less powerful. My God, look, they're still inflicting burn on him there. When he explodes, bang, spread it to him. 
And this is what I mean. This is all through the war mine cells you just saw there, which is in turn from the Dawn Chorus. And the uh, thingy majiggy, the igniting touch. Finish these guys off here. Drop that in there. There we are. They should drop down. And there we are. They're dead, which is obviously very handy. Um, what can we do up here? Let us spread the love with a punch. Spread the love with a punch. Boof, 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 boof. And uh, that's that done. Let's go super mode. So this is just going to kill that person incredibly quickly. And uh, all we've got left then are the uh, turnips up the top. So as you can see, this build is utterly fantastic. Really quick and easy to get set up. But they're just a, like, I think it's like three different mods and, and the exotics as well. And of course, you can pick and choose what you want. If you're going to inflict a burn, you are going to be laughing all the way to the fiery bank. And I hope you enjoyed this quick build video for the Warlock. Plenty more to come. If you've got any ideas of any builds you'd like to see or say, try this subclass, give me a good one. I'll blink and do it. No worries. Thank you so much for watching my marvellous sausages. And I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage. Uh...